everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today I'm going to be making Christmas crack with Jack. That rhymes. Christmas crack with Jack. <laughs> Jack. I know, he's impressed by me each and every day. So, what we're going to need for this recipe, Jack, is 50, 50 saltine crackers. So I'm going to have you 50, 50, just 50. 50, 50, 50. I 50, I said it twice. Like a 50, 50 drawing, but we're not doing that. Okay, so see if you can lay them on a pow and start counting the crackers. All of those? Well, 50. you just count. See, try to get to 50. Lay them on piles of 10, okay? So what we're going to need for today's recipe is 50 saltine crackers. And there again, that's going to be approximate. One cup of salted butter, which is two sticks, and we're going to cube that. One cup of light brown sugar. Let me open that up a little bit better. Two cups of chocolate chips. One cup of M&Ms or chopped nuts or sliced almonds. So what you're going to do is go ahead and preheat your oven to 325 degrees. That's unwell. Okay, let me see. Ooh, look how nice and neat Jack has those crackers. That's good enough, Jack. We'll see what it ends up being. That is good enough. Line a large jelly roll pan with aluminum foil, and then we're going to spray it with nonstick spray. Yeah, so, can I spray? Yeah, you'll be able to spray. I help my mom make French toast. You help your mom make French I toast? French to I have to crack it on the pan, I think. Very good. Sure, how 50 uh, crackers are gonna fit in here. That doesn't seem like we should need that many. We'll see. Okay, Jack, what you're gonna do is gonna hold this like, up, spray it ever so you mean lightly. like this, put it like yeah, that. Yeah, you're gonna line them up like that. I don't think it's gonna take 50. Go ahead and spray it without spraying on the crackers. Make sure you have the get up a little bit. We'll hold it up, up. Okay, over up here, up here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is spread that around. We're going to just, that's good. Thank you, thank you. I'm just going to make it so that there's not too much on one spot. There. So now it's spread around. Go ahead and line it. I might have to use two. Unless they're talking baby. Nope, saltine cracker. Slide that over a little bit. I can push that down a little bit so there's more room there. So let's see how many we have here. We have one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 28 crackers. So she must have been talking about a large jelly roll pan. So now I'm going to place the butter and sugar in a medium sized pot over medium low heat. Stir until butter is melted. So as you can, don't, don't eat over the uh, platter here, you know, because we're all going to eat them. You know, we don't want jet crumbs. We don't want jack crack crumbs. <laughs> no. So I'll cut this into chunks. Can I help? Can you cut? If you do, it's all, you can cut it on the table, on the end there. Let me move this over a little. Does it matter how long the pattern is? Just cut it. Just cut it this way. It's easier to get a hold of the knife like this and cut straight down through. Just press down through. Very good. Just cut it into chunks like that. That'll be good. Okay, put it in there. I think you got it. That's good. Thank you, bud. Our one cup of salted butter, two sticks, and one cup of light brown sugar. So I am going to melt that over medium-low heat and stir until butter is melted. Once the butter melts, we're going to have to bring it to a boil and stir constantly for three minutes. Tell you what, I think we're just going to do the one tray. It's just going to have extra stuff on it. Why one tray? We're just going to do one tray. Okay, we're going to spread it out. Whoops. So how much does that make? It'll make a little bit less, but I think uh, about 30 crackers is what you're going to get. I think somebody miscalculated. 
because I don't think this is going to be enough to do two trays. So this starts to thicken up pretty quick. So spread it all over the crackers. Okay, next place it in the oven and bake it for seven to nine minutes. Then the mixture will spread evenly over the crackers. So if you didn't get it even here, it's fine. So put it in the oven, 325, seven to nine minutes. Go ahead, close it with that. Okay, push it. Crawl one up here, and we're going to start sprinkling. Remember the pan is hot. I know you said you're a big boy. Just start grabbing handfuls and sprinkling over top. Sprinkle, try to sprinkle it evenly. Okay, that's it for now. We'll let those melt. I'll tell you what, we'll sprinkle, sprinkle some M&Ms on top. Looks like they might be starting to melt. Hold on a second. If not, I'm going to put them back in the oven for just like a minute. Can I leave it? Okay, yeah, it's starting to melt. Can, I do, can you, I do it? Just gently spread it around. That way the chocolate is definitely melting and we're getting it nice and even. Ours just won't have the m and sprinkled look on top because I should have spread the chocolate around first, then put the M&Ms on top. But it'll taste just as good. Practice makes perfect. Right, Jack? Yeah. Yep, now we have M&Ms tucked away in underneath the chocolate. You guys, though, would stir the chocolate up first, then sprinkle the M&Ms on. Do not do like I do. Do as I tell you to do. Okay, we'll let that sit for a little bit. We could also sprinkle with some sprinkles. Yes. Yeah, that'll make it pretty since we boogered up the top. Let's sprinkle it gently across. We boogered up. We boogered it up. That means I messed it up. Sprinkle. Off to the freezer this goes. It's cooling down pretty good. I don't want to put it in the freezer on top of something else while it's real hot. What? Do you want to help me break this into pieces? I put it in the freezer for about 25 minutes once the pan cools. You sure? I'm going to just break it. Okay, so I'm going to put the foil down. He's lost interest in the kitchen. Jack will not be a chef. That's okay. That's all right. All right, I'm going to go like this. It's a mighty big piece. I'll break it into smaller pieces. Hey, Jack, do you want to try one? I'm just going to try a little piece. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sweet. A little salty flavor. But yeah, mm, that's pretty darn good. See how that... Uh, brown sugar and butter kind of melted underneath. So it has kind of like a caramel flavor. So we'll break this. Mm, that is so cool. Me likes it. Jack, do you want to try a piece? Come on, let people know what you think. You gotta rate it. Gotta rate it. Come try it. Not like that. He's a turd. Not right now. 8.3, right here it is. Mm. I like it. Jack apparently does not, but that's okay. You don't have to eat it. So yes, I can recommend the Christmas crack. I would use 30 crackers. 28 is what I use. I use dark brown sugar, but it calls for light. Tastes fine. So I'm going to store it in an airtight container in the fridge for up to two weeks. So thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delights, and I hope you have a fabulous week. Hey, Jack, do you want to say goodbye to the people? Bye! I'll See you come, soon. I'll come and say bye. Okay. Come bye. Over. Bye. You sure you don't want to try this one last little piece? Just put that whole piece in. No! <laughs>
All right, Jack gave it a zero. I give it an eight point. What did I give it an eight point three? Eight point. Is that what I said? Six. We'll see you later, folks.